Now, yeah. if, if you're a node operator today, or mm -hmm. if you're a business trying to build on Lightning, how do you make a decision on which implementation you should choose? Yeah, so I think like, so we can talk about, like let's talk about implementations. They're all different, right? So every implementation is built by a different team. As far as I know, they're all written in different languages. So there's like one that's written in Go, that's LNT. There's one that's written in C, this is Core Lightning. There's one that's written in Scala, which is async or the Eclair node. I think it's async. I forget what they call their node, but I think it's just async's node. Um, then there's, if you wanted to run something in Rust, there's the LDK project, which isn't actually a node. It's just like a bunch of libraries that you can build your own node with. Um, so if you're like a node runner, I think it really depends on what I think. It, okay. So I think having a bunch of implementations definitely makes it more complicated as someone who wants to work on top of lightning because there's just like not a common surface area between them all. So they all speak lightning um, and they'll interoperate with each other. But the features set that like we've kind of added on top of that as like an implementation team is all slightly different. So one of the biggest differences between Core Lightning and LND for a long time, at least in terms of usability, was the fact that if you got a Core Lightning node running, you wouldn't be able to access it remotely very easily. So if you wanted to build a website, where you could talk to your core lightning node from the website, you would have to like come up with your own solution or download someone else's software. Like it was, there was no like standard way to like talk to a C lightning node or core lightning node from far away. Whereas um, LND, the, which is written in Go, they set out from the very beginning. I think they're like one of their very first releases. They always had a way that you could talk to your lightning node from like a browser or a web app or whatever very easily. So like I think that for a long time was one of the biggest differentiators between what node you were building on top of. Um, I wish I knew what Eclair does on their node. I'm pretty sure they have like a, a way you can talk to it remotely unlike us, but I don't know what the difference is. Um, yeah, and so I think like that difference, like that basic level difference made it such that like in terms of like the app ecosystem on top of so you know we've got like the protocol and the specs and lightning nodes all talking to each other and then on top of that you have you know people building applications that use lightning as like a thing um like you know i guess like sphinx chat is like built on top of lightning right um right so the like which implementation you would choose to build on top of i think for a long time was really influenced by that. And I say like for a long time, cause like, so we've recognized in on the core lightning team that this is a problem. And so this release we're launching, we're gonna, as of this release, there will be a like built in like way to access your node through um, the web basically. So as of this release, so everyone who's been waiting to like build on top of core lightning is like, great. Now there's like a standardized platform not going to change. I'm not going to have to run extra software with my node. Um, I can just use whatever like the official like way of communicating is because we'll have one. We didn't have one before. Right. So so when when you standardize some of these procedures, do yeah. you do you think this leads to a maybe a deteriorating network effect for large implementations like L and D? Mm -hmm. I believe right now is a majority of all nodes on the network. Yeah, that's right. Is it now less important to to have one note uh, one implementation over another if all the implementations begin to standardize some of these features? Uh, I think so. Yeah, I think like I mean, so I think like once you get the accessibility thing, even I think then you start differentiating on other things that have been built on top of that, so to speak. So like. Um, I mean, I think another big part of why like the LND node is so popular is that they're the one that everyone built into their little like so Umbral, for example, is responsible for a huge percent of new nodes that come online, and they launched LND only. I don't know why they did that, um, but that's what they did. And so like you know, most people coming online now know about LND. They know about the LND tool ecosystem, etc. Um, 
the what was the other one like voltage cloud which is a cloud provider they only run offer lnd so if you want to use tooling to like spin up a bunch of lightning nodes etc unless you're building your own infrastructure like you're pretty limited to there only being really good tooling for like or like support for lnd stuff etc so i think that's definitely like you know at some point it's like you don't really have much choice if those are like if you unless you're like buying your own server or whatever, and installing it from scratch, etc. And you're like, have a lot of knowledge about servers and running that sort of stuff, etc. You're probably going to end up with LND because all of the packaged up stuff, for the most part, at least the most popular stuff, is all running like LND, etc. So I think like you know, I think I think part of will people keep running LND, etc. I think like, you know, if all of the big, if all of the services that offer nodes only offer LND, like, no, I don't think it's going to matter what features Sea Lightning adds if all that, like, the Umbral set can get access to is the LND stuff. Um, I understand that Umbral is, like, working on making Sea Lightning an option, which is great, but, um, you know, like, until it's an option, it's not really an option, you know, like, right. um, so I don't think it wouldn't matter if, like, Sea Lightning was, like, the bee's knees, etc. Like, if you don't have accessibility to the software through these, like, other services and packages, etc. Like, and a clear, too, right? Like, if you don't have the ability to, like, easily install that because the things that are selling you nodes don't offer it, then, like, yeah, no, it doesn't matter, I think, what, like, maybe our, you know, our accounting bookkeeping is, like, best in class, whatever, and it would be really nice for most people running nodes to know, like, which channels are earning them money and how much it's costing them to, like, close channels, etc. Like, you know, like, as an example, like, our, maybe our bookkeeping feature is, like, the best in class everywhere, but, like, unless, like, you have accessibility to, like, get access to running a Sea Lightning node, that's not really does it, you know, like... Yeah, it's like if you build a better app store and you try and convince Apple to put it on, it's like, they're just not doing it. Like, you yeah. gotta get them to buy in first. Mm-hmm.